In this video, we're going to show you how to properly wire the Elite stainless single-phase C-Face 110 volt motor to the Bremis brand drum switch. Bremis brand switches with red handles are supplied by BHUSA. They are NEMA rated up to 20 amps and can be used on any BHUSA supplied single phase reversible AC boat lift motor from 3 quarter horsepower through 1 and a half horsepower, both 110 volt and 220 volt. Here are the kinds of tools you will need for the wiring job. Okay, let's get started on the wiring. Of course, the first thing you always do before attempting any wiring is make sure the power is disconnected. Begin by removing the screws on the cover over the wire housing electrical area on the motor. Open the cover. Loosen the ground screw and remove the wire bundle from inside the motor. On new motors, the wires are extra long. You will need to cut off approximately 2 inches from all wires. All wires will eventually be connected with wire nuts. So, strip one half inch off the ends of each motor wire. It is recommended to twist the wires together on the Bremis switch harness and put a slight bend in them so they fit easily through the cable gland. Strip the ground from the switch wires about one quarter inch. Strip all other switch wires one half inch. Place a fork spade on the ground wire and crimp it tightly. Do not leave any bare wire showing above or below the spade. The wires in the motor are numbered. Put the one and three wires from the motor together with the orange switch wire and secure with a wire nut. Next, put the number 2 and 4 motor wires together with the white switch wire and secure with a wire nut. Now connect the number 8 motor wire with the red switch wire and secure with a wire nut. Connect the number 5 motor wire to the black switch wire and secure with a wire nut. Pull the switch wire bundle gently up into the motor. Take the green ground wire and put it on the ground screw and tighten the screw securely. Carefully place all wires back into the motor and put the wire housing cover back in place. Tighten all screws securely. The last step is to tighten the gland nut to ensure the motor remains waterproof. Mm -hmm. 
Now plug the motor in and test it. Set the switch up and the motor should go clockwise. Set the switch down and the motor should go counterclockwise. For demonstrations on wiring other motors with the Bremis brand drum switch, take a look at the other videos in this series, available on our website, bhusa.com.